Shalom unto the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Chodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders, a great millstone that, that teach and that rule well today. A salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt in the names of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Chodash, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a quick lesson on uh, touching on this video that a brother put up, okay? Uh, which his page is, uh, is called, as you can see, the channel Endure These Last Days by. And he gave the title of this video, Nothing New uh, Under under the Sun, okay? And uh, basically, you know, I'm going to play this quick video. As you know, as you can see the, the, the capture on the video, I asked my husband if he thinks if he ever if he ever thinks about the Roman Empire and I was not prepared for his response and you know it, this individual appeared to, to be a uh, a Edomite which be so will be called a so-called white race or white man today okay but we know here at Great Millstone we always go into the scriptures and we always go into you know secular history when it comes to the Roman Empire which was ruled by the biblical Edomites, okay, uh, years ago, okay, 2,000 plus years ago. And, you know, and the subject that came up, okay, was, you know, according to this video, was about the bread and circus. And we always go into bread and circus here at Great Millstone, how, you know, the term bread and circus go back into, you know, the meaning of, you know, when the time of ancient Rome, before it had its downfall, Okay, on his a uh, 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 decline. Okay, when it came to his military, his financial system. Okay, politics. Okay, that you know, they had you know entertainment. Okay, to distract the people when it came to the you know the coliseums, uh, the gladiators, the theaters. Okay, the um, the malls they had back then. How ancient Rome was run financially. Okay, and mainly, you know, when they distract the people of what's really going on behind the scenes when it comes to the politics back then. Okay, the ones that in, was in power to keep them, to keep the citizens, okay, distracted. Okay, they gave them entertainment and bread. Okay, uh, to, to, to keep them distracted. And like the brother gave the video, the title of the video, Nothing New Under the Sun. Because us that's in the faith, we come to the understanding, according to the scriptures and the times that we're in, we are in Rome all over again, especially when it comes to this place, America, okay? Which the biblical Edomites are ruling America today. And, you know, and they're doing the same thing that they did in ancient Rome. Okay, now, you know, recently here in America, you know, we're experiencing now uh, the return of uh, this, these sports events such as, you know, on um, the NFL, okay, college football, okay, up and coming is the um the basketball, you know, the NBA season, okay, the college basketball season, okay, you got baseball season going on, okay? You know, known for, you know, America known for this Hollywood productions when it comes to these movies, the con you know, concerts. Uh, TV shows, the latest trend when it comes to fashion. Okay, now you know in this technology age, okay, you have what the um the distraction by social media. Okay, these you know different um uh, news casters. Okay, that you know basically is um speaking lies when it comes to this fake news media. But at the same time. While majority of the people here in America, especially when it, when it comes to you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay, which we are the true biblical he Hebrew Israelites, but at this time, when it comes to the ones that's blinded and not knowing what's going on, 
okay? Right along with the rest of these American uh, citizens when it comes to these heathens, okay? They being blinded by what's going on in, you know, in the world, the latest worldly trend, the latest entertainment. But in the meantime, okay, you, you, we're witnessing inflation, okay? When it goes to the, you know, comes into the, the dollar devaluing, prices going up. Now it's the talks of a, a government shutdown, okay? The talks of the coming of food shortages, more LDs, more pestilence, okay? Which going to lead to what? Civil unrest? You're starting to see that. Protesting, rioting, crimes, crime at a high, all-time high rate, okay? Uh, poverty, okay? The, the talk of the coming of the Third World War. And most definitely the, the coming of a, a new system that they're ready to bring forth. Okay, when it comes to these elites, NWO, by the way, are they um, implementing a new digital system being backed up by Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, going into the RFID microchip, man. Okay, the, which is the mark of the beast, which is going to replace the physical dollar. And at the meantime, you got all these elites, the, the, the Illuminati, all these central bankers and the less luminary ones that are doing their bidding through these politics, the top politicians, okay, ready to bring it forth, man. Okay, all these talks of the WEF, the World Economic Forum. Okay, the you know the 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 um the who that, okay, taking more control when it comes to the the who. Okay, you know, you know, look those terms up when it comes to the you know government terms. Okay. G7 meetings, okay, doing all these, you know, push, ready to push, these elites ready to push all these um, strict legislations behind the scenes, man. But in the meantime, the average American is caught up into the latest entertainment, man, okay, the latest trend, which is nothing but the modern day bread and circus. So I'm going to play this video real quick, and I'm going to get a couple of scriptures, and I'll pray that the less be edifying. Do you ever think about the Roman Empire? All the time. Why? What are you, what are you thinking about it? Well, because we're in those times right now. Everybody's preoccupied with sports, movies, work, you know. What was it you said about bread? Well, all right. The common people, Roman Empire said that everybody was equal. Everybody had a chance. Uh -huh. But it wasn't. The rich got richer and the poor got poor. And they worried constantly about people rioting. Uh-huh. Because they knew that the common man, the common people, uh -huh. could take over at any time. So they would bring them into the Colosseums, and they would give them free grain. They would give them bread. They would give them wine, whatever they needed, to fill their bellies and block their minds from what they were angry about. They would watch plays. They would watch fights with the gladiators, sometimes for months on end. Huh. And that's where we're at right now. And I think about it all the time because so many people are preoccupied with their favorite football team, their favorite actor, actress, singer, and they, they just don't even think about what's being taken away from them. As long as their bellies are full and they're happy with what's going on, they just let it continue. Wow. So. Interesting. Hey, so that's, you know, the end of the, the video. You, you know, gave the statement. Okay, when his wife asked him that question, okay, how he feel about uh, bread and circus, okay, he went into, you know, the ancient history of the bread bread and circus during the time of the Roman Empire, which, once again, this is Rome all over again, okay? Okay, because we know here at Great Millstone and through history that the ancient Roman Empire fell, okay, and then you had, you know, uh, Negroes at that time, okay, that took over. And eventually, you know, led into the Dark Ages. And after that thousand-year period of the Dark Ages, where, where uh, Negroes were ruling, you had the Edomites came back into power under the Borgia family, okay? <clears throat> and from that time to now, the second leg of Rome has been ruling, okay? To, you know, to, to get to, you know, get straight to the point, okay? Because this is Rome all over again. According to um, Revelation chapter 13, Going into the how the how the there was a um, 
of the dragon, uh, the one of the, the heads was wounded. Okay. Uh, and it, but it was healed. <clears throat> and it, you know, that healing process came back during the time of, after the 13th century, when the Borgia family came back into power, that you had the, you know, a kind of the whitewashing of the dark images, the dark icons. Okay. Uh, uh, Israelites that ruled during the dark ages. Okay. Like I see the whitewashing. Okay. Which the day where you got that false image, who they portray as so-called Christ today. Okay. That's so-called white image that go back to Cesare Borgia. Okay. But from the time, okay, when the Borgia family came back into power to now, okay, under the rule of Esau Edom, this is uh, spiritually Rome, okay? And you see all type of characteristics proving that when it comes to the, the, the building of the White House, okay, which that go back to Roman structures, okay? Uh, uh, the stadiums, the sports stadiums go back to Roman uh, Colosseum, okay, Colosseums, okay, Roman Roman numeral numbers, okay, that are on the politics when it comes to the Republican and Democrats, okay. And so this is nothing but ancient Rome all over again, man, reincarnated, because the scriptures also goes into reincarnation. So those same leaders that was back then ruling in ancient Rome when it came to the Edomites, they back here today. Okay, and the individuals, when it comes to the citizens, okay, that was uh, under the Roman Empire, well, I'm back here today, okay, including the Israelites. Because during the time of Rome, okay, the Romans was ruling over Europe and different parts of the uh, known earth at that time, especially when it came to Jerusalem, okay, Israel, okay, which uh, during the time of Yahweh Shai and the disciples, the Israelites at that time was under Roman um authorities okay so it's, you know like the scripture says no, nothing new under the sun man and just as ancient rome went down this place is going to go down but in a worse of fashion because ultimately this place america is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear destruction by the hands of russia and also the coming of who the world called christ yahweh shai's second coming by the way of by the way, uh, what the world would call UFOs, which are the chariots, the vehicles of the angels, okay? And they coming back to bring judgment upon the biblical Edomites and these heathen nations when it comes to their military, which now in these times are more advanced through their technology. Are we seeing that now, how advanced Esau, Edom have gotten through his technology, man? But that's uh, the spirit and power you have by Shemia Shai will, Okay? Like we always make the statement, this is nothing but Rome 2.0, okay? Or Rome, more of an advanced uh, empire after the fashion of Rome by the technology, man. And we seen Esau pushing towards that, his technocracy, his AI, his artificial intelligence. Like I may mention, the, the MOTB, the micro, okay? AI robots, okay? Uh, uh, and so... And we seeing the, the 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 state of the people, okay. <clears throat> like I say, this whole bread and circus, as they pushing the day, the entertainment is keeping the people distracted, and at the same time, they pushing out you know fake food, chemical food, to destroy the people. They 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 are uh, poisoning the the water, the air, the ecosystem. Okay, the people morals at an all time low. All these different sets of religions that people are into. Uh, uh, all the abomination that they pushing and making it law through their justice system. That's contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai when it comes to the law, statute, commandments, especially when it comes to unique role Latino Native Americans that's involved in it. These pagan uh, holidays, such as Christmas. Okay, they hold that they, they hold that tradition tradition back into in ancient Rome, even though that the original tradition of Christmas came from you know the Babylonians during the time of um Nimrod. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 10 go into that. Okay. But when the Romans celebrated, it was called what uh Sayonia. Okay. I believe that's the way you pronounce it. 
But, you know, as us that's in the faith, that's have been awoken up to the truth. And we know that uh, Yahweh Bashim al Shah woke us up un unto the understanding of prophecy, who's ruling today. And no doubt it's the biblical Edomites, just as ancient uh, Rome, okay, even standing back to the Greeks, okay, the Greco Roman Empire. Okay? So we know what time it is, man, us that's in the faith. And we know eventually Yahweh Bashim al Shah going to take. America out just like ancient Rome. But like I say, only it's gonna be a different, um, a worse a worse situation. By the way, a fire, man, by the missiles and the chariots. And this place America is never gonna be inhabited again by mankind. It's gonna be a it's gonna become a desert. And the next phase, when Yahweh Shah returns, he's gonna set up his kingdom here on the earth, which by default is the kingdom of Israel, starting with the elect which we'll consider the 144,000 and one third that's destined to be saved by the way of the chariots from out of their destruction from those missiles, okay? Because the ones of our people, the two thirds, according to Zechariah chapter 13, verse eight, that take that MOTB, as we always get that stern warning of what it is, that RFID micro, if you take it, you're gonna be destroyed by those missiles according to Revelation chapter 14, verse nine. Right along with Esau, Edom, and these heathens, that's going to remain in that time. But right before that, it's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of civil unrest, anarchy, martial law, concentration camps, okay, uh, disease warfare, famine. But us that's in the faith, we know, man. Okay, and even though, you know, when it comes to this entertainment, yeah, you know, brothers, we watch certain sports events, we watch movies, but we don't get caught up into it. Okay, we listen to music. Okay, we, you know, we follow the latest fashion when it comes to the clothing. Okay, but when it comes to us, man, we have a different mind frame knowing that Yahweh Shemal Shah is soon to come to destroy this place and not to be gauged in, into what America pushes fully, man. Okay, because, yeah, we got to work. We got to make ends meet, okay, which is our daily bread. But we ain't into all the pagan customs that America set up and that's pushing forth, that's being destructive to two-thirds of our people that's in that mind frame, okay? Us of the hopeful elect, we hasten in the coming of Yahweh Shah to deliver us, man. So I'm going to start off with this. Like I said, I ain't going to make this video too long. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5, I mean verse 1. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So this is Paul, okay, writing to the Israelite foreigners that was in uh, Thessalonica, okay, over there, you know, in uh, which was in uh, Greece, okay? And what uh, Paul also had a book was on a book that was called um, Romans, okay? That's also proving that who was ruling in that time and who were, and who the Israelites were subject up unto, okay? Even in, in uh, ancient Rome, all the way even to um, in Jerusalem, in Israel, you had the Roman Empire that was ruling over us, okay? The tax collectors, okay? You had the wicked scribes and sedities, okay, that was doing the bidding of the Romans, Okay, wickedly. Okay, because you had Israelites that, you know, had, you know, occupations under the Roman Empire. Okay, as tax collectors. Okay, as Roman satyrians. Okay, Roman soldiers. Okay, but, you know, like I say, we was under the Roman Empire at that time. Just as now. There's nothing new under the sun. Okay, our people into politics. Okay. Into the, this, this man system when it comes to his... Um, uh, 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 military force is police system. Okay, the you know justice system, etc. But us that's in the faith, we know what time that we in. <clears throat> that we in you know in the time of the the second leg of of, of Rome that about to be brought down through the power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, which is the downfall of Esau Edom, and it says. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, okay, and that's what they're doing now with all this, you know, 
even all this wickedness going on, all the disaster that's happening. But your, you know, your, your government through these media coming out saying how everything's peaceful, everything's gonna be safe. Okay, everything's gonna be good. Okay, which they ain't doing nothing but conditioning the people or sensitizing the people, man. Okay, or, or, or gradualism, getting them ready for the next step. Okay, uh, as they will to force the NWO, but they coming in the, the name, okay, or the front of peace and safety. And that's where you have all these distractions, such as the entertainment, the sports, the movies, the music, like I say, social media. Okay, people working. Okay. <clears throat> but in the meantime, all hell is breaking loose. <clears throat> and these devils ready to, you know, force the NWO. And, and they're going to bring it in by the way of order out of chaos, man. And that's one of the quotes. <clears throat> and it says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as a travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. Okay, so that's what time, that's going into the prophecies. How Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to allow Esau Edom to come down with that great wrath through his military, through his um, um, uh, st strict legislations, his draconian laws. And majority of people that's not taking heed when it comes to the two thirds, they're gonna get caught up into that, man. Okay, but the elect is gonna be covering, as it says. Okay, that those that's you know um not you know um uh, uh not in the you know the the spirit of blindness that's paying attention due to Yahweh Shemuel Shai woken us up through the spirit and giving us men such as the men of great millstone, starting with our apostles and elders. And bishops on down, okay. The, the the apostle bishops and elders and brothers on down that's have woken up to the truth, and that's out there on the highways and byways, and constantly uploading videos giving warning of prophecies or what's ahead, man. Okay, so we know what time we is, what time we in. Okay, as we're measuring the times, but majority of our people they're gonna get caught up unaware as a thief in the night. Okay, cause a lot of our people thinking that this place is their their rest. Okay, thinking this place is going to benefit them. Well, this place, America history, known how this place was built off the enslavement and bloodshed of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it all ties back into the scriptures that Esau, Edom, is our enemy, right along with the rest of these heathen nations that helped aid into our downfall still to this very day. Okay, but our people thinking everything's, you know, good. You know, prices, even though it's going up. Okay, food prices, gas prices, rent, okay, taxes, you know, but still, you know, since they can still, you know, able to work and make ends meet and, you know, certain of our people, but, you know, uh, living good from these entertainers on down to the average Negro, Latino, Native American that's supposedly doing good, you know, could things still seem so, you know, reasonable. But it's going to come a time when things are going to wax worse and worse, man. Let me get this. Um, that second address. Yep, second address, chapter um, 16. Verse um, 17, and it says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Okay, and this edge is seeing itself, you know, in that time, seeing itself in the present, in the future. Okay, which proves reincarnation, by the way. But the word woe means destruction. Okay, and that's what's coming to America, especially this place. And it says, The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? And us of the whole elect, we're going to trust and have faith in Yahweh by Shemuel Shah to be our covering. Okay, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, for wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. And that's the understanding of the truth and being covered by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. 
okay, to be delivered. Because we're going to be in the thick of things, man. Okay, ain't going to be no rapture like these Christians think. Okay, if you believe in who the world called Christ, you, you know, you get uh, uh, rapture up in the air. And then, then it's going to be seven years of tribulation, okay, on the earth. Nah, it ain't going to be like that. That's a myth. Okay, that's a fable. That's a false doctrine. Okay, the elect is going to be delivered from out of the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, in the midst when all hell breaking loose. That's why elders say, war is me, war is me. Who should deliver me in those days? Okay, and us are the whole elect. We're trusting in Yahweh Bashim Shai to be our covering and our protection, man. And it says, Behold, famine, verse 19. Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for the amendment. And we start to see these things on our rise, man. Okay, and we start to see famine, the talks of pestilence, plagues, okay, tribulations, okay, anguish. Look at these people that's on social media ranting, okay, uh, due to inflation, due to job losses, due to poverty, due, due to hard times, how corrupt this government is, okay? And we at the beginning stage of the Lord bringing these plagues. As it's going to continue on. And it says, But for all things, for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Yeah, the Lord, you know, bringing these plagues in the form of a whipping. Okay, plagues after plagues, man. Okay, judgment after judgment. Okay, here in, here in the earth. Okay, worldwide, especially when it comes coming into America, when it starts affecting America, okay, nationwide, man statewide okay and we starting to witness that this place downfall <clears throat> and it's only going to get worse to the lord god to, to the to the point the lord going to destroy this place by by fire and yahweh shall come back delivering the elect and it says but but our people as these things are growing upon the earth okay as they're going to continue on our people not paying attention to the times they're not preparing to to the, the prophets that's giving them the understanding or what's happening, or the prophecies. Okay, they're not paying attention to Esau, Edom, his agenda. And now people, they know, they know a little son. They know, hear more talks about the Illuminati and certain agendas, okay? But they don't fully comprehend it because the Spirit of the Lord is not, you know, fully dealing with majority of our people, okay? Really dealing with only with the elect, the hopeful elect. Uh, according to Romans 11 and 7, okay? But majority of our people, they hear, and see things what's really happening, but they can't pinpoint it because the Lord have them blinded. And at, and at times, they still trust in this place and trust in this system and trust in Esau Edom. Okay? But they see the corruption and the eruption that's about to happen, man. But they turn a blind eye to it thinking that everything's going to, you know, be good, that America going to go on forever. And it says, But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, virtues, virtues shall be so good, shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. Yeah, like I said, cause right now, you know, prices are still reasonable, even though it's going up, okay, to the point of inflation. But sooner come in, it's going to be a, a financial crash. But in the meantime, people, you know, still think of things reasonable. They're still able to go out to eat. They're still able to go out to party. They still to go out to still able to go out to entertain, go to school, go to work, traveling, okay, going on vacations, okay, spending money, and to still have the access to it. But it says, you know, like I say, and the prices are still reasonable. That it says that what that they should think themselves to be in a good case, and with all these distraction as a, as in this video these. As I may mention, bread and circus of the entertainment. Hey, these people think they know ain't nothing's gonna happen. But it says, even then, there shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And that's the point. Okay. Even though you know things still seem reasonable, but if you slow, um, I ain't even gonna say slowly, fast, fastly approaching. Okay, it is more sooner than later. How prophecies are rolling, 
Okay, how this place is about to meet is downfall, man. But that, but we, but we in the current position right now that things, you know, just moving towards that. Okay, which is prophecy, man. Moving towards pro prophecy of this place downfall, man. And we're witnessing that through the Lord bringing these plagues as evil's growing upon the earth. But majority of our people, they too busy being entertained. They too busy being distracted. Okay. Uh, so let me see. And I end off with Second Edge chapter nine. Second Edge chapter nine, verse. I started at verse, uh, verse six, and it says, "Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works." And endings in effect and signs. Okay, that's going into the Lord prophecies. Okay, about, about the, you know, how the Lord about to bring judgment. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by his faith, whereby ye have believed. And that's ultimately the elect. Okay, the 144,000 and one third, starting with the men that's on the highways and byways. Okay, and the faith that, you know, the Yahweh Bashim Al Shah gave um, the elect. Okay. And it says, and it says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. Okay, the, the, the perils meaning the danger times that we about to enter into. But Yahweh Bashim Al is going to save the elect. And eventually the kingdom of Israel is going to be set up in the land of Israel. Okay. When the Lord removed those phonies, of course, which they're going to be destroyed by fire. And our kingdom is going to be built up by us, the rightful inheritors. Okay. And it's going to be built up. On our authority, by the way of um, Esau, Edom, and these heathens going into slavery, because that's their future, starting with these elites that's going to escape the damn nations from those missiles as they're going to be in their retreats. Okay, they're going to be reserved for slavery, okay, in lamest terms. Okay, all these heathen nations are going to go into slavery and build our kingdom up. And after that thousand year period, the only nation that's going to be done away with is the biblical Edomites, man. Okay, the whole nation. Men, women, and children. But let me continue on. Continue on. And it says, and it says, and they shall see my salvation in my land within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Okay, and that's going into the elect. Okay, the two thirds, I always make mention, the two thirds of our people that die on this side, they're going to come back in the kingdom being the sons and daughters of the elect. Proving reincarnation again. And that's how they're going to inherit the kingdom. And these heathens that perish on this side, they're going to um, come back in the kingdom through their bloodline to be servants. But let me continue on. Then shall they be in the pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they have that had cast them away shall, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. And that's going into two thirds of our people. Okay? And the Lord going to bring judgment upon them. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, yeah, and that's going into how America's set up. Our people are trusting this place financially, man. Okay, but when we tell our people on the, as we're out there on the highways and byways and doing videos, hey, how about you, Shah, about to destroy this place? Hey, repent. Come back and acknowledge your inheritance, acknowledge your power. Yeah, how about you, Shah? Okay, but our people don't want to hear that. They really trust in the, in, the, in the wealth or the riches or the dollar of this world, man. I mean, of America, okay, or the ways of this world. So they know, and all these benefits that they starting to see, you know, what they, you know, looking into, like these, the dollar, okay, these government assistant funds, all that's uh, on, on a decline, man, to the point we know what you saw, you don't want to push now, a new system, okay, when it comes to that NWO, backed up by that MOTB. And it says, and we already, I already made mention, if you take that MOTB, it, uh, it, the fate is, those missiles according to revelation 14 and 9 and it says for such as in their life have received benefits they have not known me and they that have lost my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was an opener to them understood not but despised it and how the lord speak okay to the nation of israel by the prophets okay of the nation of israel once again which were considered the elect men at this time that's on the highways and byways and constantly pushing his word by the way of the internet. And it's going to come a time when the Lord is going to bring the famine of the word. 
when the Lord remove his prophets, okay, and his word off the internet, okay? But now we're in the present time when they lost the laws of Yahweh Bashim Shai. They're not giving recognition to Yahweh Bashim Shai, his men, the prophecies, and the word. So it says what? And it says, and understood not, but despise it. The same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. And that's our only concern, us of the whole elect. Okay, we only concerned about the elect, because that's who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah concerned at this time. Okay, the Lord only going to deliver the elect, starting here in America, and where the elect is scattered worldwide. Okay? But mainly two-thirds of our people here in America are going to be destroyed, man. And the Lord said they're going to know it death by pain. Right along with the rest of these heathens, okay, which are our enemies, man. Starting with Esau, Edom. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that lesson is edifying. Okay, once again, you know, going into the subject of bread and circus. You know, that quick video going into how there's nothing new under the sun. And how this is ancient, uh, modern-day Rome from the ancient Roman Empire. How America is set up after those that fashion, okay? Especially the subject going into, you know, the bread and circus, all the entertainment, okay, all the, you know, the mirth, okay, that really set up to distract people of uh, what reality was really happening behind the scenes when it comes to these elites, man. Okay, but us at the hopeful elect, we see through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah was about to take place, man. Okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the lesson here once again. To the next time, I'm going to end off by saying all praises or giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Chodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that teach and that rule well today. And citation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry, the company of prophets, and also to the believers that scatter worldwide. That's a Negro, Latino, and Native American descent. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the elect. Shalom.